peers i hope you are all fine this ultrasound video shows a case of intestinal obstruction the patient is a female child aged about 7 years you can see the distended gut loops in patients with small bowel obstruction supine view show dilatation of multiple loops of small bowel with the paucity of air and large bowel you can see the gallbladder and the liver these findings in conjunction with lack of air and stool in the distal colon and rectum are highly suggestive of mechanical intestinal obstruction so the dilated small bowel loops more than 2.5 cm from outer wall to outer wall normal calibration or collapsed loop distally are signs of intestinal obstruction and as you can see in this case the dilated gut loops measure from outer wall to outer wall more than 3 cm more than 30 mm the relevance of free fluid between intestinal loops detected by sonography in the clinical assessment of small bowel obstruction in adults is very important the presence of large amount of fluid between dilated small bowel loops suggestive suggests worsening of the mechanical small bowel obstruction that require, requires not a medical therapy but immediate surgery you can see the whirling mo movements of to and fro mo movements of the intestinal contents these are the distended gut loops now you can see the movements of the intestinal contents to and fro because distally there is obstruction when the intestinal con contents are pushed forwards they come back due to the obstruction obstruction of the large bowel usually causes milder symptoms that develop more gradually than those caused by small bowel obstruction increasing constipation leads to constipation and abdominal distension vomiting may occur usually several hours after onset of other symptoms but is not common constipation is a medical condition that can affect the ability to eliminate stools constipation uh, obstipation is different from constipation in that obstipation is when a person cannot pass stool or gas usually due to an obstruction or blockage of hard difficult to pass stool again you can see the gut movements are missing but the intestinal contents are moving so these intestinal movements the intestinal contents move to move forward but due to blockage they come back the images by ultrasound are more detailed than x-ray and are more likely to show an intestinal obstruction ultrasound uh, in the intestinal obstruction uh, when it occurs in children ultrasound is often the preferred type of imaging the high fiber contents in bananas can help normalize the effects of constipation they can help you to push 
out the waste better by making stools easier to pass. At sonography, bowel obstruction is considered to be present. Now this is very important. Bowel obstruction is considered to be present when the lumen of the fluid-filled small bowel loop is dilated to more than 3 cm. And in according to the some experts, it is 2.5 cm. The length of the segment is more than 10 cm and paralysis of the dilated segment is increased as shown by in here in to and fro movements of the intestinal contents or whirling motion of the bowel contents. Now the sign and symptoms of the intestinal obstruction include crampy abdominal pain that comes and goes, loss of appetite, constipation, vomiting, inability to have a bowel movement or pass gas, and swelling of the abdomen. Now, this is very interesting. That does coke, coca, coke helps with bowel obstruction? Researchers at the Medical School of Athens University found that of the 46 patients who were given Coca-Cola to treat the blockage, the treatment cleared the blockage in half. 19 patients needed additional non-invasive treatment and 4 needed full surgery. Very interesting. Now the Ileus versus intestinal obstruction, the difference. An ileus and the intestinal obstruction have similarities, but an ileus results from muscles or nerve problems that stop peristaltic, while an obstruction is physical blockage in the digestive tract, in the gut loops. The difference between small and large bowel obstruction is uh, they have many overlapping symptoms, however, quality, timing, and presentation differ. Commonly in small bowel obstruction, abdominal pain is described as intermittent and colicky, but improves with vomiting while the pain associated with large bowel obstruction is continuous. Common symptoms are nausea and vomiting, crampy abdominal pain or discomfort, stomach distension, constipation and inability to pass gas, that is fart. So if these symptoms are present, see your doctor immediately if you have any of these symptoms. You can find some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel if you do like this video. Please click the like button. Thanks.